Let's do a little bathing. Let's uh, let's let's bring up the beautiful music of Inat and Gerhard. And I'm going to ask you this: Don't effort anything here. Just allow the magical energies of you, of your consciousness, of your I amness, to cleanse some of that residue, religious residue. A new Age residue, spiritual residue, and just let it cleanse some of that off. And in doing so, dissolve away your own glass ceiling about God. See, as long as there is that glass God ceiling, there is a limitation of consciousness. As long as there is that artificial ceiling there of consciousness, uh, then you're going to feel compressed and held in, and you can feel a pain in the body and craziness in the brain. So let's take a deep breath, and let's bring the house lights down. So this is kind of a cleansing mirab. Let's take a good deep breath. It's like going through the car wash, kind of. You don't have to do anything. You're not out there scrubbing the, the car, getting off the grime. You just roll your car in, push that little button. I know some of you are saying, "Oh, the sign came up. Car wash is out of order today." <laughs> no, just push that button. And you roll in, and you let all the energy serve you. Let's take a good deep breath. Consciousness is so beautiful. It's it's just awareness. I am. I exist. It's not a thought or an energy to go with it. Doesn't need it. It's kind of a. Eternal rhythm, harmony, continual flow. I exist. I am, and life springs from there. Creation comes from there. But when that consciousness is suppressed, when that consciousness is basically ignored. Consciousness is basically obscured by the dirt of life, by old beliefs, by old residue, and life gets to be kind of rough. Then that's when people keep repeating the same patterns, same experiences, the same. Activities with the same people and the same outcomes, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And that's when we kind of go crazy and say, "Why do all these things keep happening to me?" Well, it's pretty simple. It's just you've obscured consciousness. But the moment, the moment that you choose. Moment that you become aware of the awareness, it all comes back. The moment consciousness is placed back into consciousness, ah, everything starts expanding again. So just roll yourself into your your own cosmic car wash here. The cleansing begin. Let the energy serve you. Gently cleaning off all that old residue. That's really nice about it is that you don't have to do any work. 
just put your consciousness here and when it all happens I love awareness it's so simple and it always strikes me as odd that well, people don't allow awareness actually they avoid it they actually avoid awareness you could argue and say that maybe it's too painful light shines too bright, whatever, but go out of their way, out of their way of awareness. Now they think that because they think that they're living, but there's a huge difference. You can think about how you're going to solve certain problems at work, you can think about what you're going to do after work. You can think about how you've lived your life. But you know, that's really not awareness. That's thinking. Not a lot of life in thinking. But then there's awareness. Just, it's consciousness. And the moment you place your awareness somewhere, where you put your heart, I guess you might say, it suddenly brings life. So simple, you'd think everyone would do it. So simple, you wonder why you haven't done it before. Sometimes it's this residue builds up and it's hard to do. And up spending 70% of your waking hours working on your problems. And I forgot to mention the other 30%, the other 30% of your waking hours, time, energy, consciousness is spent creating new problems. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> resolving old problems, 30%, all right, 29% creating new problems doesn't have to be that way at all, at all. You just take a deep breath and, you know, be in awareness. Be in awareness of your awareness. That's all, just, I exist. Where there is consciousness, there will come life, real life, creative life. While we're in the midst of this mirab of cleansing, while you're getting this car wash of your soul, we have a special bonus going on today here. You also get You also get the opportunity right now to feel creativity. Now, some of you think you're creative, a lot of you think you're not. I'm not talking about that kind of creativity, like um, writing a poem. I'm talking about just making something out of nothing. I guess that's the definition of consciousness bringing your awareness to where nothing existed. And then it springs to life. Not necessarily about what you make with your hands or figure out in your mind, but just wide open creativity, bringing awareness. your life into anything. I talked before about a true creator creates, blesses, is terribly impressed with themselves and then backs away. I feel for a moment now your creation <coughs> continuing to expand 
and express. Basically singing back to you all of its joy of being. Desire to continue expressing and expanding. That's amazing. And you know, those creations, whether they're physical or non physical, they just keep going through time and space. Can you imagine that for a moment? Something you create. Say you just create a song. You're out for a walk. You just make up a little song and sing it to yourself. You just created something, and it never dies. Never, ever, ever dies. Your human mind might forget it ten minutes later, but it is now basically traveling throughout creation, the dimension. Constantly expressing in joy. Nice thing too is anything you've ever created, anything you've ever created, you can feel again. You feel its joy of being. It's not a soul being like you, but something you created. It's constantly rejoicing. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? A lot of your dreams at night are creations. Oh, they're still out there. They're still expanding, being, and rejoicing. A lot of times you'll have little inspirations during your day, thought about something, or even maybe a little invention. Or sometimes、uh, I see you writing books. You write books in your heart, you know. Not so many of you write them on paper, but you realize those creations are still out there. They didn't go away. Maybe they never got printed as a book. That doesn't matter. You created it. It's still out there, and also right here. Just feel into its rejoicing right now. You you made this. It was never there before. You made it. Singing back to you. How's that washing going? How's that cleansing going? Pretty easy, isn't it? We're gonna be coming to that final rinse cycle in just a few moments, and then a good drying. Now just take a deep breath and feel how energies serve you if you just let them. It's kind of amazing. I, you've been trained that you have to kind of work energies like you'd work a herd of cattle and make them work for you. No, no. You don't have to supervise them. Keep pushing them. They just here working for you. You made a choice to be in this space today. You help create this space today. Now those energies are just soaping you up, scrubbing you down, helping to release some of that old grime. That's accumulated. That's kept you from really being aware of your awareness. A lot of that old grime is 
really sticky stuff is about God. Sometimes those old voices playing in your head. Teachers, nuns, rabbis. Like I said before, human consciousness kind of put God out somewhere else. And not so much belief, but consciousness. And there's a huge difference. Human consciousness put God out somewhere else. Turned him into pretty much a guy, male. Made him real mysterious. Made him kind of human at the same time. Untouchable. Untouchable. And so it became so. That's where God resided then. That's where consciousness was, that's where it was limited, and therefore creation was also limited. But my dear friends, God belongs in you. God belongs in you. Spirit, Source, the Creative One, the Eternal One, the I Am, belongs in you. Now let's connect the dots. Remember I said consciousness, consciousness can go into anything and brings life. Where there is consciousness, there is life. The consciousness is that God is in you. Then it becomes so. That's why we had to do this cleansing today, though, to get rid of the old concept of spirit, God, creator. is you. Funny thing, it always was. Oh, I know your head is rattling a little bit right now. Not quite being able to comprehend, but it's in you. It was always there. So familiar. Consciousness. We bring God back, Spirit back, Source back, back to you. Master friends, the incarnate masters. There's something going on here. Something changing with the energy. Something kind of funny happening for oh, about 1,500 two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds right now. Something kind of funny happening for thousands of 40, 50, 60 year olds who call them Chambra. Consciousness. I am. I exist. I'm breaking through that glass ceiling of God. Pretty simple, but this was a big one. 
This was a really big one. So let's go into the drying cycle right now. We've had a good washing. Let's go into the drying cycle and listen to the music play. Take a good deep breath as that dryer just surrounds you with a warm flow. together. As Calder and Linda said, you, you are really good at creating safe spaces, spaces for you to experience your own realization. Remember that where there is consciousness, there is life. Where there is consciousness, there is life. Where there is awareness, there is joy. Good deep breath. Good deep breath, my dear friends. So I can just hear the conversation now. You go home, your young one says, Mom, what'd you do today? You say, oh, I brought God back to me. With that, my dear friends, all is well in all of creation. Thank you. Thank you.
Trust in your divinity. 